was said by the Penguin Institute 2014 MR7 on thermoregulation. Based on the graph, describe a specific method of thermoregulation used by the species of animal. Provide support for your answer using the data. So there's two types of thermoregulation. We have ectotherms and we have endotherms. Ectotherms are going to use their environment in order to regulate their body temperature, and endotherms are going to use metabolism to regulate their body temperature. My data gives me environmental temperature on one axis and the rate of oxygen consumption on the other axis. To me, rate of oxygen consumption is talking about metabolic rates um, or metabolism. Oxygen is a final electron acceptor, and so if I see a high rate of oxygen consumption, that means there's a high amount of metabolism. If there's a low rate of oxygen consumption, that means there's a low metabolism. And so here I see that the organism has an increase in their metabolic rate as the temperature increases. That means ectotherm to me, um, because if it was an endotherm, I would instead see that there would be a higher rate of oxygen consumption at lower temperatures and a lower rate of oxygen consumption at higher temperatures. Um, due to the fact that a lower temperature, they're going to have to do more metabolism to keep themselves warm. Um, and so I see this increasing in environmental temperature um, leads to increasing of my oxygen consumption or my metabolism. And so species in ectotherm, as we see, increased metabolic rate or oxygen consumption or respiration rate at increased temperature, and the opposite taking place with a decreased temperature. If the animal was in endotherm, we would see the oxygen rate um, would actually increase with a decrease in temperature. Um, and then you were also able to give another option talking about the behavior um, would adjust that body temperature. A method of thermoregulation is ectothermic regulation experienced by cold-blooded animals such as reptiles like lizards. Ectothermic regulation means the environment controls the body temperature of the organism. As the environmental temperature increases, body temperature and other metabolic activities increase, causing an increase in the rate of oxygen consumption. On the labeled axis provided below, draw a line to indicate the most likely relationship between the body temperature and the environmental temperature in the species. And so we're going to see that since it's an exotherm, that when it's at low temperatures, it's going to have a low body temperature. And when it's at high temperatures, it's going to have a high body temperature. So I should see a linear line going straight up. Okay. Um, and so it should look like this, where I've got this linear line going up or the line with a positive curve. And then here's a student's graph. Okay. So they got that point. Hope that was helpful. Remember, 8 by 10 was just assessed by all.